Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to change business address with Secretary of State. Changing the business address of an LLC or any other business entity involves several steps and varies by state. Here are the key points to consider. State-specific requirements. Each state has its own procedures for updating a business address. For example, in Delaware, you need to update the address of the registered agent as the state primarily cares about the registered agent's address rather than the principal office address. Forms and filings. To update the business address, you typically need to file specific forms with the state's Secretary of State or the relevant state department. In Pennsylvania, you would file a form based on your business structure, such as a change of registered office for domestic entities. In California, you need to fill out the LLC 12 form, also known as the Statement of Information, and submit it online, by mail, or via fax. Updating registered agent information. If the change involves the address of the registered agent, a separate form may be required. For instance, in Delaware, you need to file a certificate with the Secretary of State specifying the new address of the registered agent. Multiple notifications. Updating the business address is not just about notifying the state. You also need to inform other relevant entities, such as the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, using Form 8822-B, the U.S. Postal Service, state tax departments, and any other local or federal agencies with which your business is registered. Filing fees and methods. The process often involves paying a filing fee, which varies by state. For example, in Pennsylvania, the fee for changing the registered office address is $5 for domestic entities. You can usually submit these forms online, by mail, or in person, depending on the state's requirements. Consequences of non-compliance. Failing to update your business address can result in financial penalties, missed important documents, and potential loss of business insurance coverage. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.